flying to LA to surprise David Dobrik, the king of surprises himself with an entire wheel of Parmesan cheese. Time for a field trip. Wait a second, please smack a like on the video. This one's gonna cost me. First, we had to shop a bit for our Parm wheel. Sounds like a weird thing to say, but I love buying Parmesan cheese wheels. Look at all this cheese. Are we allowed to buy one of these entire wheels by chance? Uh, yes, you are. These are all Parmigiano Reggiano. They all weigh about 85 pounds. What are these? They're like dark. I like the color of those. These are four oh. years. Oh my god. Let's do like a middle-aged piece let's, of cheese. Let's my favorite one, and honestly like the one that might be the best for cooking, is this here, Vaca Rosa, which translates to red cow. It's an actual red cow? Yeah, this is what Parmigiano used to be made from, this Th red this cow right breed. Here. And then around like 20, 30 years ago, they started making a comeback with these cows, kind of protect the identity and heritage cool. of Parmigiano Reggiano. This guy's like the ultimate world cheese the expert cheese here. <laughs> I was the number two cheesemonger in 2018. That's insane. And we just happened to bump into you tonight. Just happened to. That's amazing. I feel like you should have been number one, by the way. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we're also going to grab some perfect fresh pasta here. So we have our pasta, we have our cheese wheel. Now we need the tools to actually open the wheel and a couple of little sauce ingredients. I was like, he does not look like you, for sure. No, I'm not. I'm not David Dover. Am I on camera right now? Do you want to be? I'm not against it. I think you might be. Manny gets everybody. No one can hide from Manny. <laughs> no one can hide from me. It's going to be $3,238.34. All right, I see. So we have to approve the signature. It says daddy. Okay, we'll accept that. Don't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we wheel this out in this cart? Is that okay? Now I understand. I can't lift 85 pounds myself. Okay. I'd do anything for cheese. After our pricey shopping spree, we loaded the cheese into the car and got some sleep. So we are pulling up right now to David Dobrik's house. It is a pretty damn cool house, at least from what I've seen online. So I'm super excited to actually see it in person. And the even cooler part here is that we're gonna be cooking an actual entire pasta wheel here, which doesn't really get cooler than that. David's house was insane. I hung out with his life-sized Iron Man, ate some pizza, and even drank fruit punch out of his Kool-Aid water fountain. Then it was time to surprise Dave. You ready? Oh, no. And you cooked in your car? Yeah, it smells weird in here. It almost <laughs> makes me like not hungry at all anymore. <laughs> but is this cheese? Yeah. Inside, this is all Parmesan cheese. No, no. This will last you like a year. This oh, this is, is Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah, what oh, do you think it was? I've only seen Parmesan like <laughs> sprinkled. No, this so this is like a huge difference. This how much, way how more much is one of these? 3K? You're kidding. No, this is like 3,000 bucks. Are you f***ing your age? No. <laughs> this is way more cheese than you think. Be careful. Oh yeah. No, I could totally lift it. I just don't <laughs> want right. It's really heavy. Okay, let's get cooking. But first, I had to teach him the art of the knife throw. But he got the hang of it pretty quickly. Chef Dave, here we go. Then it was time to begin the process of opening up our cheese wheel. We started by carefully scoring all the way around the edge of our rind. Then we wedged in what's called a stiletto knife. This large and weirdly shaped, but very sharp knife. Cracking this thing open is extraordinarily difficult. It's super, super strong cheese. You smell the cheese? I smell it. Oh, careful, careful. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this part took some teamwork, but finally the beautiful cheese wheel opened up. Immediately, we had to taste. Holy cow, that's really good. Nuts, no, okay. right? Oh my god, this is so good. Okay. What's going on outside? I don't know what's going on outside. Try it. It is good. Oh wow. It's like fresh, but not fresh, because it's, it's been like sitting so in here for, for several years. But our work wasn't finished yet. I carved into the cheese with an ice cream scooper and dug out a hole. Then I poured in some alcohol and Dave lit it up with a flamethrower for some melty cheese action. Do it light? No, not at all. Oh, it, it's, oh, it's lit. It's, it's lit. lit. It's hard to see it. <laughs> Is it still on fire? And now you move it around and we get all the cheesy goodies out of there. Now I had to make the pasta. Big giant sprinkle of salt and in goes our pasta. We poured the pasta into the wheel and again scraped in some more cheese. Dang. After making a nice cream sauce, we put it all together. David was excited to say the least. Oh my God, are you kidding me? No, this is insane. And that's what good pasta sounds like. A little bit of pepperoni. Dude, I don't even want to eat it. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. This is it. Oh man, it's so good. Yo, sh Okay, my turn. No, no, hold on. No, it's... <laughs> they need it for the shot. They need another taste test. <laughs> one more scoop. That was a lot of pasta. That's, that's insane. Really no, honestly, it is so good. I'm literally speechless. It is 
Delicious. And I made it. 10% of it. I made I made 10% of it. After everybody tasted, it was time to finish out my TikTok video with a classic TikTok outro. I'm feeling extra Italian today. So let's make pasta and a wheel of Parmesan. All right, we're leaving David Dobrik's house. Honestly, that was a lot of fun, but I realized I didn't even get to try the pasta myself. Here's the thing. Honestly, when you're cooking with a Parmesan cheese wheel, it's pretty much impossible to not have fun. But despite not trying it, I could tell just by looking at that pasta that it was delicious. Once again, don't forget to toss a like on the video and subscribe. Happy cooking.